As we move over to the parts for the PAL or pick -a lift, um, the first part where we see is the main uh, picker uh, motor assembly with the controls and all that. Additionally, we have an extension front plate that goes with the machine, and then here are the related parts uh, that you'll see um, some of the um, stop gauges, some of the weights that will be used. Here's some stanchions to hold the unit onto uh, the Apes pick a lift. Um, a very important part is uh, a sensing bar uh, that, that the unit reviews, looks at. We've got some uh, spacer pieces, some nuts and bolts that are used to assemble the unit. Putting together the pick -a lift or PAL 14. A uh, very simple operation to put the unit together. Um, you've got the base back unit that comes already assembled that's got uh, all the, the mechanical features of the machine in place. We need to add some of the accessories onto that. The first part that we have is we have the sensor bar which is going to get attached to the, to the uh, extension plate that goes on the front of the machine. So simply take your screw, put it up into the slot, corresponding slot that's on the front side of the machine, and you're just going to screw that part into place. The next thing we're going to do is take our extension plate and attach that to the back plate on the mechanical part of the unit using some Allen screws. Okay, next thing we need to do is set up our back gauge. So this would be our back gauge. There's corresponding holes that match to the front of the unit. This is uh, a bar that's designed to run through uh, a bracket on the front of the unit to hold the base plate in position. The base plate is important because additionally on top of this base plate there's also a weighted bar uh, that will hold the paper in place when the, uh, the unit is uh, in operation. And lastly is we have a side stop that would get mounted to the bottom of the machine and this is, this is just a side uh, gauge uh, for the paper uh, so the paper is all flush to the one side. The pickle can be mounted onto a punch by itself or in this case what we're going to do is uh, add it to uh, the automated paper ejector stacker unit to make an all-in-one semi-automatic uh, electric punch. So what we would do is we've got our side panels here that we've installed on our punch. In this case what we're going to do is remove the, the uh, bolts that we added to hold the APES unit onto the, onto the uh, punch. Uh, the PAL comes with extension brackets, so the extension brackets would go in place of where those two screws we just removed out of. There's actually four extension brackets, one on one side of the machine and one on the other. You take a lift, add it to the top of your ejector stacker. The unit also comes with a small washer. The small washer fills the gap between the extension bracket on the front to the top of the front base. You don't need a filler gap on the unit that hooks up to the back of the base. And then just reinstall your mounting bolts.
You can repeat the process on the other side. We need to power the pickle lift uh, as well as all the other uh, operations that we've got going here. So this simple power cord, plug the power cord in. Uh, the pickle lift opter operates independent of the punch and the uh, uh, automated paper ejector stacker system. So you just need one plug application uh, to power that particular unit. Okay, this is the control panel on our pickle lift. So we have our power on and power off. Um, we have an adjustment knob here, and that adjusts for a different height of your picking of paper. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to keep your uh, picker uh, positioned in the green section of whatever machine that you're using. So if you're doing a 7000 you want to keep it in the green section of the 7000. If you're doing a 7700 you want to keep it in the green section of the 7700 and so on and so forth. Um, in this particular instance um, you're going to have different operations based on different punches uh, some punches uh, capacity handle more sheets than others, so that's going to be kind of a trial and error to see what will fit in a, in a particular punch. Um, generally, I would uh, tell you to kind of keep it on the lower side rather than on the higher side. You'll eliminate any kind of punching problems. The advantage that you have with the pickle lift is the pickle lift will, will pull the same amount of sheets at any given time. So what that means is if you have a 7700 and you have an operator that punches roughly 20 sheets and then 25 sheets and then 15 sheets and then 12 sheets and then 18 sheets, they're inconsistent with the amount of punching that they're doing. You can set your stop here and what the pickle lift will do is it doesn't count pages, it, it measures the height of a stack. And within generally about two or three sheets, it's going to pull the same amount of paper at any given time. So if you have, say, for a 7700, you have a die that will punch 35 sheets of paper at a time, you can adjust this knob up, and it's going to roughly pick about 35 sheets and maximize the throughput through your machine. So you don't have that uh, variation in the punching. That's what helps speed your operation. The way the machine operates is it operates with a pair of sensors, sensing eyes that reflect off of a reflector. And basically there's two sensor eyes and the sensor eyes figure out where the top of the stack is. So turning on the unit, uh, hitting our reset button, it's going to activate the picker and you'll see the picker will come down, the sensing eye will locate the top of the stack, it'll come up, pull a pick pick a lift. And what it'll do is continue as the operator pulls the stack, the sheets off the stack, it will continue to pull and pick, making it very easy for the operator to grab sheets. And if you notice, all the picks, all the lifts are all virtually identical. Okay, let's see the whole operation together. As simple as that, the automated paper ejector stacker and the pickle lift added together will increase productivity by 50%. So you can pay that same operator the same amount of money and get one and a half times the work produced in a given time frame.